Welcome to Making Memories with Melody. I want to thank you so much for stopping in and checking out what I am up to. What I'd like to share with you today is uh, reusing the packaging to items that we bring into our house, whether it's skincare, deodorant, a new curling iron. But it happens a lot that we end up with this type of cardboard and it's very useful now i know a lot of us know about and we know about all of this but a lot of us use this type of um, box cracker boxes cereal boxes for spines uh, the cover and that is perfect wonderful i also want to invite you to think about um, atcs now we have in newbie junk journal makers a atc club and it'll be running at least through the summer if not longer and what you do is you take a uh, two and a half by three and a half um, well i start with this base but from there you're going to layer up you're going to put a label on the back you're going to create something beautiful but what i'm talking about today is just the base just the foundation of it so i took this uh beauty box uh whipped cleansing cream and i cut it into um two and a half by three and a half inch pieces i was going to save uh some of the extras so that i could do anything from making tags which i'll show you um just a little something to uh you know share what i'm doing and have an opportunity to chat with you guys i'm always looking for an open window to say hey how's it going right and i haven't been live in quite a while so two and a half right there by three and a half there's another one this one has a little bit of a has a little bit of a, uh embossing in it but i think no see now that's i knew it wasn't quite right i knew it i could feel it was just off of it. okay there we go nope so that one and i think and that will be fine because you're going to cover over both sides of this so it doesn't that doesn't matter so now I have these pieces that I thought I will show you a couple things to do with them. Let's make one more uh, ATC and then I will show, well, you know what, maybe, let's do this, let's get this ready, two and a half, there we go, that's what I was doing, so I was just going one line up too many. Now this one's been kind of torn there, so I'm going to cut this end off at three and a half. And there's another ATC. Now what I'd like to do, and I'm not sure I can do it out of this. So I'm going to wait and use that for something else. But this one for sure, because I've just been doing it not too long ago. But you take the seam of the box, in case you haven't done this before. It's not difficult, but it helps you have uh, more. Like that could end up being a tag. Helps you have more. Just more and more and more of it to use and to uh, get get your imagination flowing. Cardboard is a is a I don't know you know the the opportunities I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately, and the things that some of the ladies make with with just recycling cardboard. Besides what we do in junk journaling and and uh, you know artistic things, there's just functional. They recreate things. It's just also awesome. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside so it doesn't slide down. But I wanted to get the bent areas off of this so that I could show you. This is a two and a half inch punch. And I usually can go through this pretty well. It takes a little bit of a little bit of elbow grease. Now these this is the size of a ATC coin. So there are ATCs, artist trading cards, and then ATC coins, artist trading coins. Actually it's ATC, AT coins. I don't know how it is. But anyway, so this now has been utilized, so I can toss that aside. So what we have total now is one we have four atc coins two three four of the cards right and then i wanted to show you a little something because i've got something special at the end of this video remember anyone who comments during this live i i'm going to go and look at the comments as soon as i'm done and i'm going to randomly pick a, a person 
and I'm going to send them something special. If they're in the United States, I'm going to send them mail, something in the mail. Okay. If they're out of the, out of the country, uh, I will send them a digital. And if I have two, you know, if I have opportunity, I'll do both. If there's an international and an American winner, but option, this is an envelope that I jelly printed during uh, jelly print wild Wednesday uh, last week or the week before and I want to fill this right I'm going to take a picture of it really quick because um, this is such a beautiful such a beautiful print that I can also print it out let's see if I can get my camera to work it's going to be iffy because I pushing all the wrong buttons all the time. So anyways, I'm going to take a quick picture of this to have to scan in if I would like to and set that aside. Now, what I want to show you is, see this jelly print? Wow, right? So what I'll do is I'll, I'll only put a small sticker on there and a small sticker here and the rest of it, you could cut it up and use it in all kinds of things. This would be an awesome base for um, an ATC, an ATC coin. So I'm challenging you, right? Challenging you to think about that. So what's happening now is I just finished a um, series in my group that is about the Loving in the Rain uh, kit from uh, Chow Bella, which is printed in Italy. And I made a fancy flow over in AJJM sales auctions and sales right so over there is a fancy flow made with this kit and it includes a lot of stuff but, but for what we're doing right now this is only going to contain paper okay so i'm going to collect and this is rice paper this is uh chow bella rice paper from italy and this is all the scraps left over from doing my um, journal that i made and i I just, you know, I get to the point where it's hard for me to get excited about scraps because I try to use them up, get them gone so that I can have some more space. And um, so this one I used up as much as I could. And now I want to hand off the rest of it. Right. But I want to show you what I was making with it so that you can get, uh, you know, a hint of the vibe of this. So we're going to do a flip through. So this is a mat board. Mat board is what they put in frames to frame around a picture. So if you take your photo or painting to Michaels and they frame it, they will ask you what kind of you know colors of mat board you want in there. This one was a black matte black. I um, scored it to be a four by six inch journal. I gave it a one signature, right? So this has a velvety um, suede piece of uh, specialty paper on the back this is a, a, a metals type and then on the front I used the Chow Bella rice paper which is included into this um, fun giveaway that we're going to do and then I layered up with tags and pieces and then this is metals let me see if I can get this to where I can see it a little better here we go so this is a metal that comes from China and it's usually brass colored I put the um, ranger uh, silver mixative on it and then glued a uh, rhinestone into the center. Our closure is a like a doorknob, door pull uh, type post and a piece of elastic that's going through two eyelets back here. Okay, so the front, let's do this because we're doing something different now. Let's bring this right down into the mix. So I had found some cards and i added those i also altered some this is the area where um, i'm going to put the this journal belongs to this is the first page now we did this over the course of i think it was three three weeks three tuesdays we did this and today was the last day and we did a lot of techniques today but this is a tab and it's a piece of um can uh, i don't want to say canvas but when you get the uh, sports bags that kind of uh, handle and then this is all the chow bella loving in the rain 
papers along with specialty other specialty papers. So I'm just going to flip through here so you can get a gist of what we did. Not everything's all, not all the little uh, bits and bobs and details are there. Like this needs to be edged, maybe some string off, but the basic uh, point of it was learning uh, tuck spots, uh, decorating up, and then the different sizes of things. And that's where this comes in. I think that this would be awesome, and I'll put some of them in there, to cover with, with something like this, right? And then it would make another tag or a tuck spot, right? Just like that, just with your leftovers, just with things that are free when you buy something else. It's just, it's just a, a really fun way of uh, utilizing things. This paper back here is embossed. It was a six by six. There's a button here and a brad here. Uh, we have a specialty paper clip here with um, a little oval. And then here we layered up and did a little flip. Here is um, another tab with a with a um, bulb pen. And then back here is a, a you know what? I knew that was going to come apart. I'm wondering what I'm wondering what the best way to manage this is. But I'll, I'll come up with a good idea but this was a tassel that's coming apart a little bit that's okay Re, redo it um, this was stapled on with a little bit of glue to be secure right then we have this page which this was a tip out and this was a very simple simple version of a tip out and because I, I wanted um, the ladies that were with me to see how how to functionally do it right foundation but you can do this in such a more uh, elaborate way. But you just, this flips out and flips in. And this is just uh, washi tape here with some glue and washi tape here with some glue. The real trick to it is, is not let your uh, tape go past the edge. That's how it flips out. And then we uh, tore a piece of notebook paper here just to add a little bit of pop of color. And it's a good journaling opportunity. This is an envelope that I cut the bottom off of and put some goodies in there. Um, this is kind of plain. I could definitely spruce that up, but this was a scrap from another piece of paper that I thought would go well in here. And so that's why I wanted to add it. Uh, the actual, um, oh, uh, the loving in the rain paper, um, some, uh, scheduling paper. This is part of the paper and I fussy cut her and, uh, Put an altered or a card back there. We'll get to the altered card soon. This is a chunk, and then I wanted to do more inside of here, but I wanted to show how this works. You know, just a little corner tuck, but you fold up, and it gives a little bit more dimension. Really, uh, these circles we just did today, and a little bit of glue and staples, and then we made a circle that you can use for a tuck going up and a circles that you can use for a tuck going down. It doesn't always have to be a square. It doesn't always have to be basic. It can be fun. This was a, uh, we did some stamping today. I stamped this rose and a couple more. This is a belly band and I cut that, that oval out of there. I didn't get it quite centered. It's okay. It was just something to show that it's another thing you can do. There's another tab. There's the fun loud page, right? Um, this is an altered playing card. We roughed it up, then used Yoohoo glue and put rice paper on there, added a little pocket, and then added a little tiny tag. Not tiny, I guess. And then there is also this um, tassel and then um, another bulb pin in this silver scrap here. This is uh, another rose that I did, and then I was showing about these tiny tab, uh, tiny paper clips that are from Tim Holtz. These are the kind of things they look so sweet in just these little spots, right? Just a little bit. And this was just a page that I layered up some papers to just to give it dimension, right? Uh, I wrote in here with a white pen because I thought, oh my gosh, you know what? We don't have to have light pages to write on, we could have dark pages and just use a different colored pen. Um, this is a little journaling card. Just put a little scrap of paper on the back so they would have it. I just love those birds. A nice big red bold paper clip to add. Circle. Um, there's the other row, one of the other roses. And this is a Tim Holtz clamp clip here. I added a card to the edge of the other side of the envelope and added the rose there just for another layer. And then in the back is another rose and it's just layered also just for fun. This is glued on here just to have a pop of color. 
another tab. This is a really beautiful um, uh, doily, a heart paper doily, and I folded it over the page and I left this part white like that. I loved the graphic uh, contrast and then this side is the opposite. So that was fun. This is something that we did together in the group and this was last week and it is a nine and a half by four business size envelope, but it was black and we folded it. We, we, we challenged ourselves to add it to this book and see what we could do so this still is open this still is being able to be used we layered up this area let me scooch this a bit we layered up this area this is two tags in here this one's actually a little journal card made out of a um, rolodex card or memorex card i don't know what they're calling them nowadays um and this was just free hand cut out of a scrap a little red there's another spot here for journaling card and then obviously inside um, and then we chose to use a scrap here and I added a little red uh, heart and then another tab. I love tabs. I don't do them all the time, but when I do, I kind of overdo it maybe. This is a jelly print. Now this is a technique that um, I've done in my group on Wild Wednesdays and I loved this piece and I thought for sure that it would look great inside of this book. So what I did was add it to the back of the envelope, then glue it to this embossed paper and then we folded it up so that it does that, right? So this is the last page. This is our last tab. This is the back of the book and we have layered up um, papers and images and some rhinestones and then we have the metal corners and the loop to close it and that's that. Now the exciting thing about connecting these two tips together, the, the tips and this together is, is that these are the perfect size, some of these off, ca off casts to making um, I mean, not everyone's going to have the same punches that I have, obviously, and I don't want you to feel like you need to go buy them or anything. But if you had this type of punch, gracious me, um, anyways, I'm just going to cut it. Okay, so anyways, that would be what I'm talking about. But you would decorate it first, then punch it out, and then you just stick it in uh, a cute little corner of the thing. Now, this one... And I'm thinking that it might work here on the table. Okay, so I have a couple of different punches too. I have this one that, let's get it out of this, that does a banner type, right? That's a cute one to use these scraps out of. And then you would just add something over the top, but it's nice and stiff. They, these make really good tabs, I think. I love tabs. Can you tell? This isn't that cute little flag tabs. Um, you could fold it over. Um, this one, though, this one I was hoping to make a tag out of, but I am not seeing the punch that I use for that. So, what I'll do is um, go ahead and punch one of these, I guess. There you go. Now, I have this punch, which is really interesting. It's older. You can tell it's very much older. This one has, has tiny. Look how tiny those are. I mean, that one's one inch. That one's less, less than an inch, maybe three quarters. And then this one, I don't know, half inch. Just crazy tiny. I don't use it a lot, but when I do, it's fun to uh, utilize it. Okay, so I'm going to take all of this and set it up here. Because that was, um, the focus of that was to show you that all of these little pieces here make a little journal. So they're not garbage. They're scraps. They're, they're definitely useful. So we leave that sitting there. And we'll start collecting these back up the way that I was doing before I got distracted, which is easy for me to do, let me tell you. Okay, put this punch away. This is our envelope, but over here I have quite a bit of the scraps. So I have this black, these are pieces, actual black, more pieces, um, more pieces, some red. This is a really pretty shiny black paper that will be in there. And so I'm going to pick a person here in America that comments on this live, right, and send this to them if they 
they um, will PM me. Once I announce the winner, um, if you're not in my group, I will need you to PM me your address. See, this is the, um, the other side of that ladybug, but here's one. Isn't that adorable? Just so fun. It was just really a fun kit. Uh, the whole color scheme, I love graphic contrast. It's something that just, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I love everything. Right, here's some glitter extras. So all of this that pertains to it, all right, the reds and the blacks and the whites, all in one side of this envelope. Silvers, bits and pieces, some black, red, red. I'm going to put all of this in an envelope. I'm going to take a name, and I'm going to call this what I've always called these types of things. This is a clean my desk, um, clean clean my desk uh, raffle. Okay. Make it dig down in here because there's a lot of, I keep all the little bits until I'm completely done because I never know. Oh, I did, I did do some of those tiny tags in here. Isn't that fun? And so I will mail this off to a person that comments below, randomly chosen, and then maybe they'll show me what they did with it, but it'll just be fun to share You'll get to see all the bits and pieces I had to choose from. And there's still so much more that could be done with this. It's just crazy how much is left over. And uh, there's also, if you would be interested in the full kit, it's over in the, look at that, that one's still cut out and not even been used. Um, over in the AJJM auctions and sales, okay? The ladies over there that are selling, it's a very, very um, reliable, high quality group of, of sales. I'm just letting you know, you're not jumping in and, and not knowing what you're getting into. Okay, so this is the example of what all of this can do. And what I would like to do now is go ahead and package it up because when I get off here, I'm going to come back and look and see about the name of who's going to win all of this. And then I'm really hoping that they'll show me what kind of wonderful things they did with it. Because how fun is all of this, right? It's so fun. I would love to take on the challenge of working with something like this. Because I do better when I don't have to pick. Right? If I don't have to pick all the stuff, it's just right there in front of me. I can flow really well. If I have to go find things, if I don't have things in my sight, then, you know, I kind of struggle a little bit. But I don't know. We all make it work. Make it work moments is a mantra over at NJJM. This one is going to bug me, and so I am going to cut it up. So I'd love to hear in the comments how everyone's doing, what you've been working on. I'm going to be hanging out on YouTube a lot more than I had been. I am feeling so safe and supported here. It's um, it's something that I just want to say thank you so much to my followers and my uh, group members, my friends, my family. It's, um, it's an absolute joy to be a part of this community that we have going. I just can't tell you how much it means to me all the time. Okay, so. I may add a few more goodies in there, but for now, this thing already is probably going to end up being uh, uh, definitely a parcel rate. So there is a lot in there to have fun with. But on top of that, remember, we learned or, or showed or shared, whatever we want to call it, ATC coins and ATC cards to get ready for the see, I've got to get ready. I've made, let's see, I made six ATC cards, but we're sending three of each to the person. It's a rack event. And so um, I need to make three each time I do it. So I'll use these three. I'll use that th those three. And so this will be two more sets that I can send out in our ATC club. And uh, it's a really fun, fun club. The whole the whole group is just absolutely fantastic. I can't, I can't say enough. Uh, how much I enjoy the members that we have. They are some special, special people. They are kind and supportive. And I just want to tell you, when you get to hang out with people like that all the time, like I do, you can handle the world again. You really can. The world is not such a scary place if you've, uh, if you've got a support system. And over in NJJM, we really do have a 
beautiful um, community, tribe of women that is a special joy. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining me. I hope that you'll have some fun. Maybe you'll drag out some cereal boxes and get started on some of this. Maybe if you're in the group, you'll go ahead and join our ATC uh, club because it's fun. It's, it's, it's a way to learn new techniques. It's a way to put yourself out of the box. And I already know next month's um, themes, and you're going to be so excited. I'm going to be giving away freebie images. Bye-bye.